Hi, this is Frank from Walking for Health and Fitness with show number 12. My goal is to do 52 shows. We have 12 down, 40 to go. I'm getting there. On uh, today's weekly walking tips and inspiration, let's call the show the Reduce Stress by Walking uh, show. Now, the topics in today's shows will all deal with reducing stress and anxiety. So we have our first inspirational quote. Uh, we'll start off with that. Uh, we'll have our walking tip number one, and that is the relaxation response. We'll follow that up with, uh, I have a free offer for the uh, viewers of this uh, program, a trial offer of a product. We have Eating Right, Recipes by Stacy. We have today's background image, a um, little change of pace in this cold, uh, in the cold winter months here. Walking tip number two, and the benefits of diaphragmatic breathing, deep breathing, okay, to help you reduce back pain, but it's good for overall health. I have a great deal from a company called Care Remote Socks. I'm wearing their shirt here. Fantastic product. So uh, listen for that. We have a bonus tip. Instead of a new segment, I'm going to do a bonus tip on how to get out the door, setting a routine, which is, becomes important for any activity that we do, especially for walking. It'll help you get out the door quicker, get on your way. And our second inspirational quote by coaching great John Wooden. So on with the show. And inspirational quote number one, deep breaths are like little love notes to your body. And the author's unknown for that. I found that online. So take that in deep breath. It is the breathing show. So do you display an inspirational quote or an aphorism around your office, workspace, your home? Send it to me, <clears throat> excuse me, send it to me at Frank for walking for health and fitness dot com. And I'll display it in the future show. Now in the show notes, are the full image of the inspirational quotes that I put up here on the screen. So download the show notes. You can print out that inspirational quote, put it wherever you like uh, in your home or workspace, okay? Also, join me on Facebook. I, I have a group called Your First Walking Group, and I also have my uh, website's address on Facebook. That's uh, Walking for Health and Fitness Program. That's what I am. Look for Frank Ring and you'll find that. And, um, you know, interact with me on Facebook. That would be great. And walking tip number one, reduce stress, the relaxation response. Now, stress can be good for you, such as when you stress your body through exercise, or stress can be bad for you when it's chronic stress that's brought on by the loss of a loved one, a job change, or divorce. This chronic stress can lead to negative effects on the immune system increase the heart rate, and cause high blood pressure. Stress releases the hormone cortisol. It releases it into the bloodstream, and that increases the heart rate and your blood pressure. So it's the cortisol we have to avoid. Now, an effective way to combat the stress response is through the activation of our body's relaxation response. Okay, It's as simple as properly breathing in and out. So what is the relaxation response? It is a physical state of deep rest that changes the physical and emotional response to stress, leading to a decrease in heart rate, reduced blood pressure, and a slower rate of breathing and an easing of muscle tension. You trigger the relaxation response by abdominal breathing for 20 to 30 minutes a day. Now, yeah, you could lay down in front of the television and do your deep breathing where you want to breathe in through your nose expand your stomach, breathe out through your mouth. That's one way. There's many different breathing ways, as, uh, but just get the breath in, put the breath out, okay? But expand your belly is the important part. Now, you could do it by sitting in front of the television or by reading a book, which is great. Or you can get out and take a walk. And when you're walking, doing that deep breathing, okay? So the act of walking is as natural as breathing. Breathing is something we can control and regulate. It's a useful tool for achieving a relaxed and clear state of mind. It's very important. Now to breathe properly. Okay, you need to breathe deeply into your abdomen, not just your chest. So when you breathe in, and I'm going to breathe in through my nose, my belly is going to expand. That's the important part. You can also then expand, once the belly's expanded, expand the chest. And then breathe out through your nose. I'm sorry, in through your nose, out through your mouth. Okay, now the most important is to focus on your breath, okay? Take it in, fill your lungs, let it out. So on your next walk, focus on breathing in through your nose, out from your mouth, okay? 
in walking tip number two, I have some more information about walking. And today's background image. Now, it's been an icy, snowy week in North Jersey where I live. And as I prepared for the show, I needed a reminder of summer. <laughs> Desperately need to get to the summer. Uh, so today's background image is of uh, the dunes at La, the beach at Lavalette, uh, Lavalette, New Jersey. It's down the shore. In, uh, in New Jersey, we don't go to the beach. We go down the shore. And uh, so I vacation there every summer with my family. We have a great time. I never get tired of looking at the ocean. Uh, as my cousin who lives in Las Vegas says, Frank, you can't get this in the middle of the desert. So um, if you have a, an image you'd like to share with me and a little story behind it, uh, send it to Frank at walkingforhealthoffitness.com. And please do me a favor, remind me of the summer, okay? And tell me why, you know, your summer vacation. Tell me why you go to that particular place, okay? Again, Frank at walkingforhealthoffitness.com. So if you like what you see in here, please Click the like button, click the share button, click to get the notifications. And, you know, I, my, obviously my goal of doing these shows is to increase your awareness of walking and the health benefits of it, and also to expand this show to reach more people here on YouTube. So thank you very much for that. So when I'm out walking, I usually like to listen to some type of audiobook or some type of, I, I've been trying to stay away from music um, to rel Music is good to pick up the pace, right? Different fast-paced music. But sometimes music just, I kind of lose time, you know? Like, I don't feel it's productive. How's that? So I began using an app called Blinkist. Now, it's a great concept. They take the key ideas of best-selling and current nonfiction books and reduce them down to size, to the key points, and they call them Blinks. Each blink is usually between 15 and 20 minutes or so. The blink comes with the full transcript, so you can also read it. Um, so what I do is I, I'll listen to a blink, 20 minutes, and then as I keep walking, I'll just reflect on what I heard. I just go over it and over it in my head. Sometimes when you read a book, you just I would just find myself going on to what's the next thing I have to do here. But when you're walking, the next thing is to just walk and to think. So uh, if my walk is long, I'll listen to another blink. So I recently listened to the blink of Do Breathe by Michael Townsend Williams. Now, listening to this blink helped inspire this episode of Weekly Walking Tips and Inspiration. And it helped me with my breathing as a reminder. But the, but the book or the blink of Do Breathe is, is more than just about breathing. So listen to this book on your next walk. So if you want to check out Blinkus and check out Do Walk, there's a link in the description and if you click that, it'll take you to the, obviously the Blinkist website. You'll also get a 20% discount and a seven day free trial. So check it out. It's a really great concept. There are so many titles. Uh, there are 27 categories of, of titles. So you will definitely find something that is right for you. And in today's recipes by Stacy, that's uh, pancakes underscore Stacy. She's on Instagram. And it's a ginger and lemongrass steak stir fry with Brussels sprouts. So Stacy says, such an easy meal. Make your sauce, saute your veggies, and then cook your steak in four to five minutes. And get a pot of rice going and dinner is done. So as always, Stacy's recipe is in the show notes, which you can download below. Link is in the description. And also get my quarterly magazine, Walking Inspiration, each issue is released with the change of the season. Each issue is roughly 20 pages long, gives you more content about walking in that time of the year. Link is in the description. Get on my email list. It's sent to you automatically. And walking tip number two, the benefits of diaphragmatic deep breathing to reduce back pain. But it's good for everything. I talk about back pain because that's what got me into walking, okay? So... Deep breathing is one of our easiest and most convenient and natural tools to combat issues like back pain, stress and anxiety, high blood pressure, which I mentioned in tip number one. It also aids in digestion and de detoxifying the body. There is a large body of evidence that back pain is the result of unresolved stress. Interesting. Now, when we focus our breathing, we are taking charge of this natural process and helping ourselves overcome a variety of issues in our case, it's back pain, but it could be any issue. The benefits of diaphragmatic breathing to reduce back pain. 
It helps support correct posture. Now, the next time you breathe in, notice that you simultaneously lengthen and straighten your spine. Now, in order to take a deep breath in, your lungs expand and take up maximum space. Your diaphragm pulls down and your torso straightens. This has an overall effect on strengthening your core muscles and provides muscle stability. Relieves pain. By taking deep breaths, your heart rate slows, more oxygen enters the bloodstream, and ultimately communicates with the brain to relax. This in turn increases the feel-good neurotransmitter called endorphins, which helps in the reduction of pain. Increases energy. The more oxygen that is in the blood, the better our body functions. Decreases stress. When you become stressed or anxious, your brain releases cortisol, the stress hormone, okay, mentioned in tip number one. Generally, when we are stressed, our breathing becomes rapid and shallow, which can lead to hyperventilating. Exhaling more than inhaling causes low carbon dioxide levels in the body. It detoxifies your body. Breathing releases carbon monoxide. Breathing is in charge of 70% of cleansing the body of toxins. The other 30% is through the bladder and the bowels. Now, if you do not breathe fully, your body must work overtime to release these toxins. It improves immunity. Okay, now when your blood is fully oxygenated, it carries and absorbs nutrients and vitamins more efficiently. It lowers blood pressure, as I've said. Deep breathing slows and regulates the heart rate. This helps with lower blood pressure. As your muscles relax, your blood vessels dilate, which improves circulation. Improves digestion. The more you breathe deeply, the more healthier blood flow you will produce, which in turn promotes your organs to function more effectively, including your intestines. <laughs> when I went through to say that. Now here's some body and back stretch breathing. Now in this exercise, you are allowing the deep breathing to also stretch and strengthen your back. Stand up straight. Place your hands on the small of your back and arch your back. Now breathe out fully. Your belly will pull in as you breathe out. Inhale slowly and gradually, taking in as much air as possible until you can't breathe in anymore. Your belly should expand outwards fully. Hold that breath for 10 seconds, then breathe out slowly through your mouth. Repeat this several times. Okay, so it's back. Breathe in. I'm breathing in through my nose. Hold it for 10. And that breathing out. Okay back and body stretch. Do that several times throughout the day. If you're feeling stretched, stressed, you'll feel awesome. Now, another breathing exercise you can do. Now, this is from the book that I heard that I listened to on Blinkist, and that's uh, Do Breathe by Michael Townsend Williams. Baby breathing. And basically, if you watch a baby breathe, a baby breathes in through their nose, fully expands their belly, which then fills their lungs with the air, and then they breathe out through their nose. They exhale through their nose, okay? And they exhale for longer than they breathe in. Now, the reason for this is that nose hairs filter the air, making the nose the best breathing organ. Okay, so the long exhale stimulates the parasympathetic nervous system, which promotes rest and digestion. So schedule your deep breathing exercise just as you would schedule an important business appointment. Set aside a minimum of two five-minute segments of time each day to stand and do the body and back breathing exercise and also focus on breathing in and out through your nose, fully expanding, just like a baby. And I'll call this my partner spot, and that's a Care Remote socks, um, and I'm wearing the Care Remote shirt. They're a great company. Care Remote socks feature blister reduction. They have a consistent fit. I've been using them since last summer. They're still in great shape, and I use them all the time. They, they have moisture wicking channels. They have a larger uh, toe box, and there's a gradual compression throughout the sock. They have a weave that promotes blood flow to keep your feet feeling rested. The Care Remote socks also have 100% all-natural antibacterials with no metals involved. They use easy glider technology, which basically means they're easy to slip in and out of your shoe or boot. Now, a walking shoe is easy to get in and out of. You have a higher boot, you need the little extra slip that Care Remote Socks gives you. They have a manipulated weave, and they use strategic placement of fibers and voided yarn. Okay, so whether you need an outdoor 
casual or therapeutic sock, Care Remote has your needs and your feet covered. Now, I spend hours on my feet walking. I spend good money on good products, and buying Care Remote is money well spent. So check out the link in the description to Care Remote. Enter Frank Ring, all one word, for a 10% discount when you check out. So for more walking information, my full range of information, uh, you have my three books, Walking for Health and Fitness, General Walking Knowledge. Fitness Walking and Body Weight Exercises is about doing body weight exercises while fitness walking. Got you covered there. And then the last book is, uh, the third book is Walking Inspiration, which is really cool. Every month I take a topic, um, how to uh, implement a topic such as goal setting, such as reducing stress, okay? And the quotes for that month deal with that topic, okay? Takes you through the whole year. You can start at any time of the year, no matter when you buy the book. So check that out. Uh, link is in the description and it's available through Amazon in digital format and you can order the paper, paperback book. Thank you. And a walking uh, call is my bonus tip for this show and that's getting out the door and the power of routine. Now many athletes, even professionals, say that the hardest part of training is just getting out the door and getting started with the workout. Okay. Once they get out the door, the workout part is easy. It's what they do. It's, it's what, as athletes, we do. When we get out and walk, it's what we do. But sometimes getting out, out of, off that couch is the tough thing. That's the toughest part of it. You could climb the biggest hill easy. The tough part might be just getting out the door to climb that hill. So being organized is beneficial to any fitness routine. The less you have to think about, the more you can fo focus on the workout ahead. Having a routine frees your mind to be more creative. And when you get out and walk and you get in the flow, the creativity flows. Apple founder Steve Jobs was famous for his walking meetings. Okay, he would meet with his colleagues, discuss big ideas, because a lot of ideas for me flow when I'm walking. Okay, a lot of what I do on this show, the idea of the show came from when I was out on my walks. When I get in front of my desk, I feel kind of blocked up and locked up. Okay, so he was, Jobs was famous for wearing a black turtleneck and. It was really simple, he said. It, he, it's one thing he didn't have to think about. He had jeans, black turtleneck, throw it on, and get on with his day to be more creative, not thinking about the this tie, match the shirt, match the jacket, all of that stuff. So he could concentrate on the important decisions he had to make. Now, walking is an easy sport to prepare for, and having a checklist to, of what you need to get out the door will save you time and effort as you prepare to walk, okay? And it'll become routine, become automatic. Now, a link is in the description to my get out the door checklist. Uh, it's several pages long. It'll get you in the mindset of walking, but it'll also give you a routine on how to get you off the couch and out walking, okay? Uh, check out, link is in the description. As I said, once again, my get out the door checklist. Inspirational quote number two. This is by basketball great John Wooden, great coach John Wooden. Confidence comes from being prepared. Ooh, like how I tied that in to getting out the door? All right. So now if you have a walking health fitness question that you'd like answered, contact me at frank at walkingforhealthandfitness.com. Here are your next steps to reduce stress by breathing and walking. Okay, so number one, click the link for Blinkist to get your seven-day free trial and 20% off. Walk with that. You've got so many choices to uh, help your mindset and your creativity uh, when you get out and walk. Check out Care Remote Socks. They're a great sock, great product, great company. Download and post the inspirational quotes from the show. Okay, link is in the description. They look great. Walking tip number one, focus on breathing to trigger your body's relaxation response. Eating right, check out Stacy's recipe. Today's background image, I needed the summertime. It's freezing here in North Jersey, okay? So send me a summer image. I'd love to share it with, uh, with the audience. Walking tip number two, the diaphragmatic breathing exercises. Set aside time to breathe properly, relax yourself, okay? My get out the door checklist, download it. Um, helpful tips in there to get you out the door and walking. And again, John Wooden's quote, confidence comes from being prepared. Ties in with the checklist, okay? And lastly, remember the first inspirational quote, Deep breaths are like little love notes to your body. 
So this is Frank for Walking for Health and Fitness. Thank you for watching my show. Walk on.